So while he grabs me, I'm like, hold up, sis, my bag is mad cute. I pick up my bag and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just get out now. Welcome back to my channel everybody um so today i'm going to be telling you guys a little bit of a story time however i do have to warn you and apologize the sound is a little bit off and um just a little bit of background this is something that happened round about this time last year and um it's the anniversary of it sort of so i decided it's time for me to share this story and i'm gonna talk about the time that uh, my mother and i got hijacked basically outside our house by outside our house i mean like five minutes away my mother and i were fasting so when you fast at the end of the day five o'clock everyone goes to church where we go to pray and fellowship and whatnot so we were driving back home from church when we stopped at a gas station I'm tired like okay I guess I haven't eaten all day but uh, yeah <laughs> being hungry and I'm tired you know so she gives me money she gives me 200 rand and she says to me go inside the garage and buy me something to drink so I have this money in my hand and I'm confirming with her what do you want me to buy for you so with money in my one hand I have my phone in my other and suddenly I'm looking at her because I'm asking her what do you want me to buy and this man with a baraclava on walks up to her window with a gun to her head and he doesn't she doesn't even give him a chance to say anything she's like do you want the car and he's like yes so then then while I'm staring at her another guy comes to my window but I don't see because I'm too busy looking at my mom and at this time mind you I'm not screaming my mom is not screaming we're both sort of just looking at this guy like okay 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 what you trying to do you know what I mean and in the meantime, another guy comes to my window with a gun to my head and he's like, get out. Now, my guy is like busy like grabbing me out. So while he grabs me, I'm like, hold up, sis, my bag is mad cute. I pick up my bag and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just get out now. And he grabs my bag from me. Meanwhile, on the other end, my mother is like, this guy's like, give us your money, give us your phones. All of them at this point are like, give us your money, give us your phones, give us your bags. So he grabs my mother's bag and my mother looks at him. She looked at him and she's like, I ain't got no money. I don't got no money. I'm not on a money. Okay? Egg hit me, half me. Money is not there. So, this guy's like, oh, okay. And he, he hands her her bag. He literally gives her bag back. And um, he did take her phones though. Meanwhile, on my end, this guy has just grabbed my bag from me and i really didn't i think i had like 120 rand i don't i don't tend to carry money because i i don't get i just i just yeah i don't i don't carry money you need to have money to carry it yeah <laughs> anyway so but in my bag guys mind you is my id my bank card my driver's license all in one okay and so as he grabs my bag he pushes me out the car and at this point i still have 200 rand in my hand and my phone mind you they've been saying give us your phones give us your phones so as he pushes me out i'm like i look at my phone and i quickly I took my phone and I hid it under here, right? I hid it under here and then I looked at him. Excuse me, sir. Hi. Hello, sir. Hi. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> Good day to hijack someone. <laughs> Can I have my ID back? Then like I looked at him and I was like, Can I have my ID back? And he was like, No. You know, and I was like, Screw you then. Bye. Anyway. At this point, both my mother and I are out of the car and our car speeds away. But at this moment, I noticed, so it all happens in a daze, but in slow-mo, but fast. And, you know, I also noticed as I stood outside that right in front of us was a BMW X6 X something. Nice car. Very nice. Very nice. And it was more guys with baraclavas on looking at how those guys were doing it to the mission, whatever. And then as... The guys with our car drove away. The other car drove away to the other side. And me, oh me, I ran after the other car so I could check the number plate and see what the number plate was. Yes. Yes, that's me. I don't know what my plan was, but yeah. Yeah. And at 
this point, okay, cool. Now I'm done looking at the number plates. Both my mother and I shocked. We walk into the, you know, every gas station has a little convenience store, uh, garage, shop, whatever you want to call it. We walk into the shop. And at this point, as I'm walking, I'm hyperventilating, like, because <sighs> I'm trying to process what the hell just happened. <sighs> Okay, okay, and then my senses hit me, okay? I have my phone, I have money, buy daughter, buy, I think, buy daughter, buy airtime, all right? Buy daughter, buy airtime. So I went, and uh, obviously the garage people saw, and they were like, oh my gosh, are you okay? Like, you know what I mean? And I buy airtime, and then I call uh, my, I called the pastor first, we, me and my mother and I. She's the one who told me who to call, I was just buying their time. So we called the pastor first and we're like, this is what just happened. Like, this is the situation we are in. And immediately he begins to pray, you know, he's like, he's like, he's praying to God. He says, Lord, if I be a man of God, that car will be recovered. That car will not go anywhere this night. It will be recovered tonight, not tomorrow, not any other time. And I'm sending the angels of God to go and locate that car right now. So he's busy praying. Right. And, um, um, yeah, he's, he's talking to my mom, but I could hear and I'm just there hyperventilating and then afterwards we call my dad who then called everybody else and whatever. Okay. And then after we've made all the calls, I dropped down to my knees. I dropped down to my knees and I began to pray. I was shocked. I was angry. I was hurt. Okay. And I was like, Oh Lord, my God, you said in Jude 227 that your people will never be put to shame. You said, Oh God, that Lord, you'll fight for me. You said, I should hold my peace and you'll fight for me. Therefore, Lord, arise and fight for me. Move and go before me. And you know, I was just, I was praying. I was so angry. I was like, let the judgment of God come upon these people. Let fire from above locate them. Let them locate that car. And you know, I was just praying, you know, and I was also thanking God because we're alive. Um, you know, we're not hurt. You know, when two women get hijacked, guys, they don't just take your stuff and bounce. They don't give you a handbag bag at that, you know? But for us, by God's grace, they didn't do anything. They didn't hit us, they didn't punch us, they didn't take us. You know, sometimes these men will drive with you in the boot, okay? They will drive with you in the boots, but we didn't have that. And so I was thanking God. A few moments later, I'm still on my knees praying when my dad arrives. And at this point, um, when my dad comes, my mom is crying, I'm crying. And he's, 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 he's so shocked. Imagine if something had happened to us, guys. The, 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 can you imagine what he would go through, what my brothers would go through? You know what I mean? Like this, you guys must understand the intensity and the, the seriousness of this situation. You could have been killed, raped, all sorts of things. But you know, God is good. Anyway, then a uh, tracker came, the security company came, blah, 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 blah. Everybody was telling, oh, what happened? Whatever, whatever. Then eventually we got to go home. When we got home, we got home to the news that there was a snake in the house. Now, guys, we don't live in the bundus and the bushes. What do you want? There's no snakes here. No, there's no snakes. No, not, not those. What do you call house snakes? Garden snakes? Yard snakes? No, we don't have those. We don't. There was a snake in the house which they had just killed. A few moments later... We got a call. The car had been found. Thank God. A few moments later, we're told the car has been found. Come and um, see your car. So we hop into the car. On our way there, um, the, the, the robot, the stoplight, whatever you call it, is green for us to go. But as we're going, here comes this car full speed about to hit us when, like, it, it was literally like we just missed each other. Like, he was about to, like, hit us straight on nobody was drunk by the way obviously not we get to the place where the car was found and basically what happened is these guys drove into a tree they drove into a tree and the car locked itself i don't know how it all happened because they drove into a tree i guess they got out they closed the doors the car then locked itself and they ran away but okay before they drove away they stopped at a house okay where they could do their pit stop whatever you want to call it and at this house it was literally a legit house that's where they ditched all the car you know they take stuff out the tracker stuff and whatever they take it out they put it all on the floor and by god's grace my handbag wasn't there but the stuff that was in my bag was poured out in my bag i had another phone which had my daughter's sim card so like that sucked yeah anyway but the biggest thing for me when i was praying earlier on i was like god 
I'm not gonna go stand in a home affairs line or license department line or anything. I'm not gonna have to cancel my bank cards. That stuff will be recovered. And as we got to the house, there lay my bank card, my ID, my, what's the other one? Bank card and my driver's license. And I was like, thank you, God, you know? What I wanted more than anything was there. Anyway, um, that's the story of when my mother and I got hijacked. Now, guys, I must tell you, you know, being hijacked and you're safe and everything is a miracle and is a blessing from God. But that's not even the worst part, you know? The worst part is the after effect, how you carry on afterwards, how you can go on with life afterwards you know don't forget to comment like share and subscribe switch on my post notifications so you can know whenever i post and i'll be back with more videos but oh before i go also good news comment down below peace and love everyone